If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. So you're thinking about switching brokerages and you want to learn all there is to know about eXp Realty. Well, today I am going to interview Rob Campbell. Mm -hmm. Rob is a former Remax broker owner. He owned 15 Remaxes. He had the largest Remax in the world in Brentwood, Tennessee, mm -hmm. over 400 agents before he decided to sell his franchises in 2011. Um, really kind of went into to coaching, entrepreneurial business coaching, um, you know, consulting, if you will. And uh, we're going to get into why he left that lane and came over to eXp Realty. So can't wait for you to check this interview out. So let's get to it. So as I mentioned, we're going to talk to Rob Campbell. Hi, Rob. Hey there. How's it going? <laughs> so a little story about Rob. Um when I was making the switch to eXp Realty uh, five years ago, um, Rob was the very first person I met at eXp Realty besides my sponsor. Right. My sponsor was also a former Remax broker owner. There's a theme here. <laughs> yeah. I was a Remax agent, uh, top agent, um, number one agent in my office, uh, single agent of the year in my mm -hmm. office. I was trending number one again when, uh, when I started looking at eXp Realty. Um, of course, back then we were we're a very small company. Mm -hmm. We were the new kids on the block. I I was you know researching it. In my county, there were six agents at EXP Realty at the it time. It was very new back then. They had done a total of twelve deals mm -hmm. between the six of them in twelve months. So uh, I was honestly a little worried. I was committing real estate suicide. You were you were a pioneer back I then. I was a pioneer, and so you know I was probably about 90% sure I was coming to eXp Realty, met Rob. Rob came down and met with me in Gulf Shores and really just, you know, I think just him being a former broker owner mm -hmm. at Remax um, meant a lot to me because I really, you know, loved that brand. I was very entrenched in the company. That, that company has a huge market share in my market. And so um, seeing people who are more successful than you, seeing people who are leaders in the industry who have had massive success make the switch to eXp Realty made me really believe I was making the right decision. Yes. And fast forward five years, um, you know, Rob and I have gotten to know each other over the years, and he's, he's a huge help to our group, our team, the Freedom Team. Uh, we're very lucky to have him, and so I wanted to interview him while we're here at the shareholders meeting. Very nice. Yes. It's so fun here to get to see all the, the growth and the new people coming on, the teams coming on, the broker owners coming on. It's just great to see the growth and the fact that we are now the number one real estate company in the nation with transaction volume and people back then when you got in didn't even think we we're going to make it. No. <laughs> um, it, and I really, when my, my sponsor called me about it, I said, EXP. Right, right. I said, I've never even yeah. heard of this company. So why would you leave Remax yeah. for this company? I said, this is the dumbest thing uh -huh. I've ever heard. So, and then six months later, I was at the company. You were at it, yeah. And uh, See, and, I saw a vision yeah. in this. But coming from the Remax side, I saw Remax and Keller Williams and Cole Banker and Century 21 and the big box brokerages being a dated model in the real estate industry as a whole. And that's the reason I sold my Remax office. Right. Because I'm saying, look, there's, with all these tech companies coming out, something's going to change. And back then, I didn't even know e eXp existed, but I knew something was going to change. Right. So I said, I don't want to be caught owning Blockbuster stores when the Netflix or real estate come out. I'm out. I sold everything. And back then, people were going, you're an idiot. Why are you selling? You're the top of your game in Remax. you got mortgage companies, title companies. Why are you selling? Over 400 agents. Tons. And, but I saw that the game was going to shift and game was going to change. I didn't know to what. But I knew enough to get out of what I was in. Yeah, and, and, you, and you were a little—you were way ahead of the curve. Yes. Um, but I had always 
really prided myself on being, you know, trying to stay very progressive thinking, yep. very trying to stay one step ahead of where the industry was going, what was happening. Technology was was fastly changing industry and in our market yep. in the real estate industry, and it was changing so fast. Yes, and where where our industry went a hundred years and barely changed. Then all of a sudden it was changing very quickly. Really quickly. And so the technology was a huge part yeah. of why I decided to come to EXP Realty mm -hmm. because I was getting at the forefront of what I thought exactly what you were yeah. saying is is the model has to change. Yeah. Things have to change and it's going to change. And here is the model well, and that is the future. I didn't see it at first though. When some, mm -hmm. some of my friends, one of my former top agents at my office was bringing it to me. One of the guys that brought him on was a good friend of mine from Keller Williams. He was bringing it to me. I'm turning it down. I turned EXP down for a year and a half because I'm thinking in my mind, it's the old way of doing real estate. I don't want to get back in that again. And finally, the, my, uh, one, of the, one of the guys that was trying to get me involved, he says, uh, you really need to take a look at this. Something's going on here and you need to see it. And so I tell you, I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I was really good at analyzing real estate models back in the day. I could, I could figure out a model and show you how to beat it all day long. Because when you're a broker, you have to do that, right? I said, I'll analyze the XP for you and tell you why I'm not going to do it. Well, you see how good that turned out. Here I am, right? I saw, once I took a deep dive in and I said, wait a minute, this is not anything that I thought it was. This is a game changer in the industry. This puts the power of the real estate industry in the agent's hands, right. not the brokers and the franchises and the regional owners. And it Who takes you all that- used to be. I used to be. I, I, it takes all that money that they used to make and gives it to the agents. It's letting the agents build their business, their structure under this umbrella and get the ownership benefits, get the override benefits, it, it's, it really changes the game in the real estate industry. And it really has. And, and I can attest to that. I mean, and, and I was super busy. I didn't want to even, I wish you could unwind and not tell me about eXp Realty. I had so many pending deals. I was growing my team, um, had no desire to, to pivot and make a switch at that time. But, you know, after our meeting, um, I was like, okay, I, I really need it's time to make the decision yes and I made it pretty quick after you came down to Gulf Shores and that was just because I was like people like Rob people like Tim like these these massively successful agents from across the country are making the switch and and right after I came over the number four Coldwell Banker agent in the world came over came over that's and, right and it was all validation for me thinking like oh my god yep. I am you know I'm pioneering in my market am I making a bad decision and um, those were all validating for me yeah. that I was making the right decision. And here I am these years later, so happy that I made the change when I made the change. Exactly. And you hear that all the time. All sure. the time. <laughs> and and I've, I've had agents tell, uh, that I've shown this to not come on board. And then years later, they're, com they're coming on then and they're going, man, I wish I would have listened to you back then. But, I, but I'm no, I've been recruiting agents in, for 28 years in the real estate industry. And I've noticed something about real estate agents when, they, when they're in their cycle. Mm -hmm. There's three types of real estate agents as they're, they're going through their motions. If I'm talking to a real estate agent, the one type is I'm totally happy where I'm at. I don't want to leave. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to change my signs. I don't want to change my marketing. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm fine, right? right? We show them this model and they're going, you know, that's really great. But, you know, I'm happy where I'm at, you know? Um, and, and one classic example is a guy out of Memphis, Tennessee. He was one of the top 10 teams in the nation for Remax. 450 transactions a year, 30 team members. Wow. And we showed this to him in Memphis. Not interested. You know, ha I'm having fun. I'm enjoying Remax. It's not that much money for to be with Remax. The year and a half later, I get a call on a Saturday afternoon. Show me that again. <laughs> I said, what happened? He goes, huh? What do you mean? I go, you were happy and now you're not. Something happened. Goes, right. yeah, we got sideways with the office. So you never know when that's going to make that shift. So that's the one type of agent. They're happy where they're at, but something down the road may happen and they're looking to make a change. He was actually going to open his own office and he wanted to hear more about EXP. And when I got done with him, he said, why would I ever open my own office? Right. The second type of agent that I run into is agents that are, they're not unhappy with their office. They're not super happy with their office. Everything's just going fine. And then you sit down and talk to them, show them what we're doing, and it piques their interest. Their mind is open and they go, hmm, that's interesting. I need to do more digging into that. And they start going, you know, 
I need to learn more about this. How does it work? How does this play out? But they're still selling real estate and doing their own thing. And, and, but every time they get a commission check and they say, well, I could have had this over here. I could have had stock with this company. I, I could have had more money here, or I could have done it this way. It could have been my game instead of the broker's game. That's in their head mm -hmm. now. And then within a few months, they're on board. The, the third agent that we see, which is rare, this is the agent that's already unhappy where they're at. They're already looking around for somewhere else to go. They just hadn't found the right fit yet. You sit down with them, you show them this, and go, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. Let's go. And they're signing up immediately. Yeah. Rare in the recruiting world. But I, I love the process because for me, it's about helping agents, helping them grow their business. Mm -hmm. uh, I've given agents advice that are not with the XP. I said, look, from what I see in this, you need to do this, this, and this to grow your business. And you do it over there. That's fine. We can help you do it better here. Right. But do it over there. And they so appreciate the fact that I'm willing to give to them and help them that they remember that. And right. when they're unhappy where they're at, they start calling again. Yeah. Common theme um, you'll notice in, in all my interviews with the, the leaders of our group is, is what they give back, the value that they give back to our group, what they pour into us. You know, Rob is, is in a unique position where, you know, he's, he's a retired broker owner. He doesn't sell real estate. He's not competing in that lane, but he, he knows the industry so well. He knows what agents need. Mm -hmm. So what does he do? Why is he at this event? He, he doesn't need the money. He's got 1,600 agents making plenty of money. Why is he here? He's here to learn the next few nuggets to give to his agents to help them sell more real estate. Yes. That's what we're all trying That's to do. It. And, you know, Rob will touch on this. I mean, um, we we kind of laugh when people say, oh, well, EXP is just a recruiting company. <sighs> and it, the truth of the matter is, what is it, 5% of the entire agent population at exp even does any kind of recruiting right. we're all well, out we're all out trying to sell a lot it, of real estate it, well, it, 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 back in the day when keller williams came out everyone said oh that's just a recruiting company that's all they're doing is recruiting right well that's one piece of keller williams but they're a real estate company then exit comes out oh that's such a recruiting company you know that exp people look at it and oh that's a recruiting company are there bad apples out there saying hey just go recruit a bunch of agents you don't have to sell real estate that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard in my life in any real estate company if you're out there um, um, just recruiting and not selling real estate there's no money made if right. you own your own real estate company and you have 100 agents and nobody sells anything how much are you making nothing well you're losing money exactly <laughs> the number one thing for our group and this is the way our culture is for our group in exp this is right? what makes us different we're different i don't want agents to recruit i want them to focus number one on selling real estate that's why we're here we're here to be the number one real estate brokerage in the nation and that's where we got not by recruiting we got there by selling real estate right? right so i want to teach agents how to sell real estate i want to find new programs out there to help them better the, the their game help them get a, a, a cutting edge from the competition constantly looking for that and i want to help them to put systems in place and grow their business while they're doing it they're earning stock in the company there's right. no other company out there that, that gifts you stock as bonuses just for being here, right? For playing the game right. and being an owner. And then while they're selling real estate, they're going to have agents going, what's going on over there? Right. And all I want the agents to do is say, hey, you need to meet my business partner, Rob. He'll talk to, I'll talk to him. If they come on, they come on through them. That's the way we've had tremendous success in our organization is helping others. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, and, and there's a number, including myself, of, of agents in our group that will do that for any one Absolutely. of our agents. Um, we built that culture into our group. So we're now all business partners. All of us have a vested interest in each other succeeding. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and for me, you know, I've been, been in my market and doing business the right way for 20 years. And so there's times I've, I'll be doing a cross sell with an agent or just an agent I've got a really good relationship with. And I'll say, hey, so would you be open to looking at EXP Realty? And They'll go, you know, I'm really happy where I'm mm -hmm. at, but out of respect for you, yeah, I'll take mm -hmm. a look at it. And um, I've pulled over some huge agents in yep. my market um, that way that had no intentions of leaving, that were happy where they were, yep. didn't understand the model, didn't know about the stock, didn't mm -hmm. know about the revenue share, didn't know about these other things. And they bring their whole team over or they're just a top producing agent and they come over. And, and next thing you know, we're collaborating together in our local market 
as well as all the collaboration that we have yes. completely nationwide and internationally. Because uh, our group loves to, to do uh, mastermind events and, and getting uh, agents together to talk about best practices, what's new in the industry, what's working in this new market. We love helping that we do retreats together to help them grow their businesses. And, and, you know, Rob's got a Calendly link. He, he first wanted mm -hmm. to tell me, you know, hey, Rob, um, how's everything going? Is there, you got any time? Absolutely. Here's my Calendly link. Book me. Book me anytime. I'll help you. I'll help any agent you want to bring on, any agent that's interested in eXp Realty. And that's how we work. I mean, yep. we, we just work together, collaborate. There's, there's obviously, he's got a skill set, you know, a knowledge that maybe I don't have in certain sectors and vice versa, yeah. you know, because he's he's not been a single agent or an agent trying to grow a team That's right. that, that got out there and, and dug the trenches. Um, but, you know, it, and that's why we're better together. Well, and, and one of the common themes I hear when I'm talking to an agent that's, that's wanting to listen, the first thing I'll ask is, what have you heard about eXp? Because almost every time they've heard bits and pieces, but it's the bits and pieces their broker wants them to hear. Right. Because the broker doesn't want them to hear their truth. And we've heard some outlandish things. Uh, the, oh, the, the brokers are saying all kinds of crazy stuff. I heard this, this, this. I'm like, well, I don't know who told you that, but that's not right. <laughs> so yeah. then I said, well, let me tell you how we're doing it differently. That's and right. I, I lay it out how it really is so they get the truth. And then how we're doing it differently to help. Because the reason I was so successful in Remax, I didn't follow the Remax system. I was a rebel in Remax. I put my own overlay on top of Remax, and that's what helped me become the top broker in the world for Remax. I'm doing the same thing here. We're putting our own overlay on top of EXP and helping the agents with a different vibe, and yeah. it's doing phenomenal. Because like Rob said, I mean, I, I find almost 100% of the time the agent um, that I'm talking to knows little to nothing about mm -hmm. EXP Realty or what they do know is either partially true or not true at all. Correct. And so you've got to, you know, you have to kind of clear that, get get some clarification there with, with what it is that they don't understand about the but, company. And then I am shocked <laughs> at the, pretty much any agent I talk to does not understand that we're shareholders, yep. that we own the brokerage, the that we have five different ways we earn stock in the company. Yep. I would say it is the most underrated piece of our brokerage yep. is the fact that we as agents own the brokerage yep. and I cannot even tell you five years later what that means to my my future retirement plan my nest egg you know I, I have agents with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stock in the last five years built up in the company it's just it's ridiculous what it's done it, it is it's a, and absolutely ridiculous and and the more your the longer your career goes mm -hmm. the more you're going to earn the more you're going to have one of um, the greatest questions is uh, how much ownership do you have in the company you're at now are they planning to give you any ownership no yeah <laughs> and, and and no matter what you you do or say or whatever they do to say or say to try and keep you there mm -hmm. they're they're not going to offer you a piece of the brokerage nope. i have yet to see that happen have not you? happening mm -hmm. yeah so and, and and i guess if you did take a piece of the brokerage you'd also be taking a piece of the overhead <laughs> yes that's it see normally you're if you're an owner in a company locally you're also locally. legally liable for the losses too and many of the brokerages aren't making any money and also locally confined. That's right. We are not locally confined at nope. EXP because we are not a franchise <laughs> or one company. It's a big misconception. So the biggest aha moment I get when talking to agents and explaining exactly what we're doing and how it's all set up is, oh my gosh, I had no idea. And then now they're starting to think, hmm, how's this fit for me? You know? Yeah. Then I run some numbers for them and hey, this, I got a little chart that I pulled together and it says, hey, if you were with EXP last year, because I plug in their numbers for last year and what they paid at their old company, what it would have paid mm -hmm. here and show them how much more they would have made with us and the stock and all that, and they're just blown away. The scary thing is, is if you project that out five, seven, and 10 years down the road, because most of us do have that amount of time left in our careers, yep. and when you project that out, First of all, you can't really know what the true number is going to mm -hmm. be because if you dive into EXP more, you'll understand what I mean by that. Um, it could be considerably more than what you're even projecting. It, it was for me. Yes. I, I way underestimated the stock and what I would do in five <laughs> years with that. Um, but regardless, you project, the longer you project it out, the bigger that 
yeah. number gets. Because it's compounding. It's compounding. and It's and not just is, sales this year. Because every year in a real estate company, you're starting over at dollar one. Every company. Here, as you build and grow the different aspects here, then it adds on top of it each year. It's a different different play. Like a broker. It. It's giving each agent the ability to get the broker's benefits that every broker normally gets, but now the agents get it. Yeah, I mean, imagine getting uh, tiny little referral checks for the rest of your life. Right, exactly. Uh, oh, and... and your children's lives and your grandchildren's yes, lives because yeah. it's it, it passes it's legacy, on. That's right. It's your legacy. Um, so one one thing I wanted to ask you about. So, um, obviously you are you have brought over some amazing agents. You've brought over some brokerages. Yes. Talk to me about a couple of the really big heavy hitters that you've brought over. You don't have to say names, but, right. just, but some of the heavy hitters that you brought over, I want to, I want them to hear the production that they were doing. Well, we we mentioned the guy in Memphis that was doing 450 transactions a year, right? And uh, 30 team members, right? And they all came over. He he was thinking about opening his own brokerage, and he called me and said, "Before I do that, I need to talk to you about EXP again because I want to see how it all plays I bet out." He was glad he made and, that. Yeah, I said, "I'll be there Monday morning. We're going to have a conversation." <laughs> I said, "Donnie, I'll tell you what I'll do." Oops, that's his name. I said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to open your own brokerage. If you want to go that route, I'll teach you how because I've done it so many times. Right. But I'm also going to show you how this is a better deal, a better way to go. So when he got done, he said, why would I ever want to open my own brokerage? Right. And then he says, um, here's one thing I see here. I know how to sell real estate. That's what he said. He goes, I've got my team. We're doing 450 transactions a year. I got my systems in place. I know how to sell real estate. What I don't know how to do is to build the business side, which you do. Right. Will you help me with that? And I said, that's what I'm here for. You just make the appointments for me to go talk to him for you. One of his first conversations was with a broker owner in Mississippi who owned his own Remax office, but also had a team doing 600 transactions a year. Mm -hmm. I, I drove over to Mississippi, talked to him. When we got done, in his mind, he's going, how do I get out of this franchise? <laughs> <laughs> he ended up selling his franchise because you can't just leave. You can't just walk away from Remax office. Or really had, any of the big franchises. No, they will sue you, actually. He sold his office to somebody who wanted to buy it. Mm -hmm. so he sold it, so he got out from under it. Then he moved his team over to EXP. And one of his big things is he wanted to expand. He wanted to expand his operations to different cities, and Remax wouldn't let him without opening an office there. But here, and then you got to take on all the other overhead risk, liability, that comes over, with that. Yeah. It's a hundred grand an office, to pretty much, roughly, to open a Remax office every time, because I've done it so many times. But that, isn't that just yeah. the franchise that's, fee? Well, you got the franchise fee, the lease, the build out, and that's before you even open the doors, right? Right. And that was 13, 14 years ago. So it's you're more way now. in the red before you before even you recruit your first agent in. Yeah. So I taught him how he can open an expansion group in other cities. No risk, no liability, no overhead under this model. Multiple states. You think he's happy? He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> the stock he's built up has been tremendous. You know, I, I, I think any agent who comes to EXP Realty and plugs in especially if they, they come in under our team mm -hmm. and they plug in and they plug into the resources that we give them yep. and they and they come to events and they network, there's no way you won't be successful. There's no way you won't grow your business. It, it's Well, just like at this event, we're around thousands of top producing, high producing agents from different markets willing to share what they're doing. That's right. And how they're doing it. And the nuggets that we're picking up are just tremendous. Heck, I'm even picking up nuggets in some of these events of how I can help the agents more. And, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, I'm going to some classes that I don't have any specific interest in, but I want to take it back to my team and share that knowledge yeah. and that information with them so that they can help grow their businesses. And that's our mindset yeah. here. Well, I was just in the KV Core class because at EXP, every agent gets a KV Core system. Right? But most agents... Uh, in any company, they don't fully know how to use the technology in their company. And I love helping the agents to develop the technology that we have here. But I was learning some of the new stuff that they have with KV Core. It is mind-blowing some of the new stuff that's just come out to help the agents to, to better grow and build their business through technology. Right. It's brilliant. Yeah. 
No, that that is that is the CRM, uh, the Ferrari of CRMs is. is KV Core. I mean, it is take any platform you've ever used and put it on steroids, and that's KV Core. It, it will do it will do anything if you learn how to drive it. That's right. Um, so, trying to, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, you know, I, I was telling Rob before we started the interview. It's it's so impressive that. Every single leader in our team and our group is here at this event. It is. And we have all networked together. We have all been here with the, the same common goal, the same common yep. theme, which is to add value. Share ideas. Share ideas, add value to our group, grow our group, bring on quality agents, and, and help them grow their business. Yep. And, um, you know, Rob and I just discussed a groundbreaking, unbelievable listing tool yes. that I'm taking back to my market to it's help gonna be a, game changer a in the bunch industry. of agents yeah. and, uh, and and that listing tool could potentially change the way we do listings in the future and it, 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 it could be that it could be that and it, it's so, industry changing it, it's so new and fresh it's been beta tested in Ohio and Florida for the last two years with tremendous results it's approved to be used in 49 states right now I just can't do it in Hawaii right now but it's now available to be able to go into different markets so I want our agents in EXP to take this into these markets and revolutionize what we're doing that's right and they're gonna be able to scoop up a lot of these listings take them away from the big big top producing uh, agents in those markets because of how powerful this is and the, the sellers will want to use this program absolutely and I can't wait to launch it in my market <laughs> <laughs> me too um, so that's gonna just about do it for today's video um, interview with Rob Campbell he is uh, I, I think I explained well enough what a top leader he is in the industry he's a top leader at eXp Realty we're very fortunate to have him on our team very fortunate that he gives us back so much value um, and so uh, you know if this is the first time to the channel be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn all there is to know about eXp Realty, what it's like to be here, what it's like to be an agent here. Um, hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the content. Hope it was helpful. Be sure to check out some of our other videos, and we hope to talk to you soon.